guys, Jessica here, the Fry Family Coach. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We are going to be talking about declawing your cat. So I recently got an email, and I'll put it up here on the screen. They were asking what I think about declawing cats. And I realized that I had never actually covered this topic on this channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the reasons why I do not think you should declaw your cat and some alternatives that you should be considering if you are looking into declawing your cat, which you should definitely not do. All right, guys, before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and make sure that if you are not already subscribed, look right down there, that subscribe button. If it is red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. You never have to miss another video. It will just pop up on your screen that I posted a new video. Hey, Jessica posted a new video and you can just click on it and go right to it. You never have to search for them again. So if you are considering declawing your cat, I want to urge you not to do it. Let me repeat that. Do not declaw your cat. And there are quite a few reasons why actually. And I do know that very unfortunately, some veterinarians in the United States still perform declawing procedures, even though other countries have completely banned it because it is incredibly inhumane. So declawing actually is removing your cat's toes. So if you think about your fingers, and if we were comparing our fingers to our cat's toes, you would actually be taking off up to the first knuckle on all of your fingers. So that is being removed. It is inc incredibly painful, very inhumane. Um, in addition to being very painful, a lot of times because vets are literally just cutting through and removing the tip of the bone of your cat's toes, shards of bone can be left in. And this is unfortunately more common than you would imagine. It can be left in. So if your cat has been declawed and you are noticing that your cat is not using the litter box appropriately, having pain when they're walking, maybe they're walking funny and, and you're trying to figure out why, It's there's a lot of pain associated with decline, not just right after the procedure, but lifelong pain. One of the reasons for this is that those bone fragments that can get left in there will actually tr protrude. Sometimes the nail bed will continue to grow and I have even seen where some cats have, have been in so much pain, have been in so much pain that the owners take them into the vet. The vet opens up where the declaw happened and there's nail growth inside like lots and lots and lots of nail growth under the skin that's causing massive pain and discomfort. So not only is the procedure itself very inhumane, but it can cause, very often does cause, lifelong pain and discomfort and behavioral problems because of the discomfort. Oftentimes when your cat has pain and discomfort from a declaw procedure, they are not going to use their litter box appropriately because of the, the motion of having to dig in the litter box is painful. So you you actually wind up with more behavioral problems because of the pain you've inflicted on your cat. So if a, if you're the vet that does the declaw procedure misses some bone fragments, like I was saying, they can actually continue to grow as well as the nail bed can continue to grow under the skin and press on tissue and nerves through the skin, which causes massive pain and discomfort for your cat. So if you are considering declawing your cat or if you have declawed your cat in the past and you're having behavioral issues, you definitely need to realize the pain and discomfort that your cat is in or would be in if you are thinking about doing it and consider other options. So what can you do instead? 
The number one thing we want to do is provide appropriate scratching surfaces and reward your cat for using those appropriate scratching surfaces and not your couch. So when your cat actually uses the cat tree that you bought, when they use um, any you know cardboard scratchers that you bought or sisal scratchers or any other type of scratching services that are appropriate for them to use, you want to give them a lot of praise and rewards, even treats, to encourage that behavior so that your cat continues to do that because having your claw having the cats having their claws is the most natural thing for them and sh they they need to scratch because unlike humans and dogs where we clip our toenails cats actually shed their toenails so clawing is one way that they help their nails shed to shed which is very natural and needs to happen so we want to encourage them to claw at things because that is natural and it, and it needs to happen for shedding purposes of their nails we want to encourage them to do it on appropriate surfaces you should also condition your cat to be able to trim their nails regularly so even though their nails do shed like i was just saying if we can help them out by clipping the tips of their nails which is very easy to do and if you start out from a young kitten and um you know touch their toes and pads regularly and get them used to it and accustomed to it you won't have any problems trimming their toenails in the future there are also herbal deterrents and herbal attractants and nail caps that you can put on your cat's nails which your veterinarian can provide to you or you can find online much they're they're very similar to um like stick on nails for humans but you do use a special kind of safe glue and like rubberized caps that you put on their nails these will fall off as your cat's nail naturally sheds and you can just replace them easily once they do so if you have any further questions about why you should not declaw your cat i will put some resource links in the description of this video below there are all kinds of other links in the description as well to my online dog training to my amazon storefront so if you are looking for those nail trimmers for your kitty definitely check out my amazon storefront storefront I have all of those essential items linked for you so you don't have to go searching for them my favorite ones are picked just click the link in the description and go straight to the product you are looking for and if you have like I said if you have any other questions make sure you comment down below I love to get your comments and questions I do my best to answer as many of them as possible thank you so much for being here with me in today's video I do hope you enjoyed it if you do make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and make sure you are subscribed to my channel go look right down there that subscribe button if it's red go ahead and click it and turn it gray when the subscribe button is gray a bell will appear next to it click the bell select all notifications that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video thank you so much for being here with me at the furry family coach if you have any questions at all like I said comment down below and let me know and I cannot wait to see you in our next video Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.